So this is us just free hanging across. Shit, my dragon! Come with me! Come with me! Loser! What is going on everybody? Ryan here playing Ark Survival Evolved and standing right next to me is the zipline pillar which has proven to be the most useful item that I don't necessarily need but kind of want in my world ever. It's like the coolest shit ever. See down there is where my zipline takes me. It's like I've been working with this thing for a literally good hour now. It's kind of foolish of me. I got distracted like crazy setting these ziplines up all in the mountain ranges and everything way the hell back here. But it just can't, it just wouldn't work out for me. I'm not sure if it's that the mod's new or if it's just not intended to go that far yet. But I would legit have it from like that mountain right there in the center to there and then try and put it down to here. But after too great of a distance, the zipline wire just disappears and it doesn't work anymore. And it, it, it'll work like once even though it's invisible for half the way. And then it won't really be there again the second time. So that, trying to figure that out. I spent like fucking 20 minutes building a house up there that I was going to have a whole zipline thing down from. It was going to be glorious. But I was I was, I was was expecting too much of the zipline. And that, that part sucked ass. So then I got more real with it. And realized I can't have it going from just mega great distances. At least not yet. Maybe I can later if the mod's updated and enabled for that sort of thing. So now I figured I'd be more realistic with it. Here it is, you basically just, I'm just gonna go through how to use it really quick for those of you who just clicked on this video for that. And yes, I am gonna show off some awesome dragons after the Mystic Academy mod developer showed me, which looked pretty damn cool. It's honestly how the Lightning Wyvern and Fire Wyvern should have looked, if I do say so myself. Alright, so what you gotta do for the most part, put one down, there we have it. Look, it's cool little zipline handles on the side of it and everything, it's just, it's just perfect. Not really sure how that'd work. How would you put that over the wire? I think it would need a little opening or something. But it doesn't have to be exactly an exact replica as long as it does what it needs to. Alright, then you go up to it, select it, select for connection. Once it's ready, you just put the little bastard down right there. And there you have your own little zip line, Able to transport you from spot A to spot B in more style than if you were riding piggyback on a hooker. I don't know. That's pretty ballin' too. That's how Charlie Sheen gets around. And then pretty much just go up to it. And transport yourself down. This was rather a short journey. But as you can see, oh, I get stuck there and my freaking ghost appears. What is that? What's that called? Your cybo self? What's that called from Doctor Strange when he separates from himself? I'm so nerded out over that movie right now. So Doctor Strange was the greatest movie ever. I can't wait for him to be in other Marvel movies. Or will he? I don't know, I need to check the lineup. You can already view which movies are being made to like 2018. There's so many movies to look forward to. Oh my god. So here, here's our shizzle, our final creation. Now, if I remember correctly, this should take me from right there to there, to there, to about there, there to there. Ooh, I can see my little post down there, and there to there. This obviously is ridiculously overdone. People may comment that this is unnecessary. It is, definitely. You could have just made it from here to there and cut out everything in between, but this just seemed like much cooler, much more stylish way to get around. So here we go down the zip line. Look at that, like perfect little motions, holding onto the wooden thing <clears throat> and everything. It's beautiful. The only downside, which I suppose is for the best anyways, is you are kind of slow. You're just like free dangling for the most part. If you want to drop off, just hit spacebar and then you're free. So you can see, there's my post, there it goes to there, there it goes to there, and there it goes to down there. You can see the freaking zip line post from far away. This is so damn cool. See, this is something that could be added to your world. It'll generally barely change anything. It's like, it, it'll just make transportation and living in your world so much better. I think it will, at least. This has to be in my world. There's no way. And see, it goes invisible after a while once it gets too far. This is about the greatest distance I was able to mess with it. Any further than this, and it would be fine. Like, it would just, as you get up closer to there, the wire reappears. But I wouldn't be able to keep doing it. By, like, the third time, it would start pooping out on me. Which was, um, kind of shitting on my plans. So I moved it over here. And then once landing over here safely, you're now transported. Just son of a bitch, you went without me. Oh, that's dirty. How do you manage to do that? All right, sometimes it glitches, sticks you right there. Come on, baby. There we go. Now we're going to see. It starts to get a little buggy eventually. It is a pretty brand new mod, though. I did just notice it. I'm not sure how old it is. What noise did we just make? It's the only downside here, I imagine you could be picked up if someone has a flying creature capable of putting you in their claws. I also... Imagine you're a bit of a sitting duck right here if you were just being shot at. Oh, that would actually be such a fun mini game. Everyone just on the firing squad and you have to freaking grapple hook through them. That brings me back to my Halo mini game days. See, and here we are at point C, or point B. Wait, point A, B. We are at C now. 
Point D would by far be my favorite. This one's the coolest, because this is where it just starts getting crazy. You're like grappling hooking onto strange little ledges. And just completely safe and secure there. In this scenario, I'm imagining I have a little base down by the waterfall. I didn't build it, because again, I had already built like two bases trying to set this whole thing up that didn't work out. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not building another base if it doesn't work out. It did work out, but I ended up still not building the other base. Here we are chilling, safe and peaceful up here. Also, the only downside with building it in the mountains, if anyone plans on doing it, so you can see the wire kind of from down here too, is while you're grapple hooking, or not grapple hooking, while you're freaking hang gliding, hang gliding, while you're zip lining, you're getting attacked by Argentavis like crazy. Everything's just swarming you like nuts. You're just like this giant sitting duck. It's kind of ridiculous, if anything. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let us go. There we go. And we're good. Look at that. And without creatures, we're safely able to transport from all the way from up there to down here. I'm sure there's other ways. You could have parachuted. Parach you wouldn't be as smooth. That you could have grapple gunned, I suppose. But you need, like, the Star Wars mods to be able to reach that to here. Only the grapple blaster from the Star Wars mod can reach, like, infinite distances. So I think Ulta Plus there is the hang glider from that other mod we had in our other series. The hang glider is pretty freaking sweet. But I think ultimately this is the easiest way to get around without any issues. So we just went from the top of there to right here where our base could have been hypothetically. And uh, I guess the stargates are the best way to get around by far. But this is just cool. You don't have to involve science fiction type like magic into your world. This is like something that straight up could be done regularly. It even ties into the little circles so well. It looks so authentic. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and spawn these dragons in here. This is from the Wyverns Plus mod, and then this is from the Zipline mod. I'll put them both in the description. If I forget, just remind me, because sometimes I forget. I do, like, millions of these videos. But these dragons, basically, the drag the Wyverns Plus mod, um, are pretty damn sexy. I'll get them in here. I was gonna show them off in a little bit, because I wanted to have more Zipline fun, but I can't even get up there anyways. That's the only problem with the Ziplines. It's like, there's no way to get back up. But from one time of escapes, that's the way to do it. Maybe if your base is about to be raided, and you have like a high up mountain base, everyone needs to get out of there and just have like 20 zip lines ready to go. That would be awesome. Well now I want a self-destruct mod, where you could leave a bomb in the center of your base with like time, so you could all zip line out of there and everyone shows up. Everything within like 200 feet is just vaporized. Shit, that would be a fun mod. A time bomb mod. Ooh. Alright, so here we have the Wyverns Plus mod. Now the Poison Dragon's probably the least impressive part of this mod because it's like, um... It's generally, it, also it's a fire wyvern, but it's just tinted green to be poison. I do like it's little chemical eyes though. This guy does just shoot poison blast. The poison wyvern I'm starting out with funny enough in this mob, but it is like the least impressive. Next you have the lightning wyvern, which um, of course they all are retextured fire wyverns. Because this doesn't, I can't remember exactly what the wyvern looks like, but that's clearly not the poison one. But um, the cool thing about this guy of course is he has lightning all around him. That just gets me going right there dude. It's something that possesses lightning powers with lightning bolts surrounding it. Anything that resembles Star Wars in any way shape or form I'm just all about. So that's like, this is something I kind of wish the Wyverns already had going for him. It's just lightning regularly coming for them, or coming from them. And then vice versa, freaking fire Wyverns being on fire. Like this is... Of course, there are regular wyverns in this mod. These are just the alphas. And um, the regular wyverns look like regular wyverns, so I figured, why show them off? Fuck them. But these guys, look at that. Lightning and fire. This I don't know how he can make this guy. Maybe, like, a stink cloud around him. You guys remember from Halo Reach, the pestilence armor, where it's, like, green bugs and shit all around him? Possibly that. Ooh, if we could just have, like, Mega Neros, like, flying all around it, like it's, like it's got dead carcass all over it. That'd be one way to do it. Either way, these two guys get me going. And then we also have the Wyvern, what's it that? What is it? Oh, the Air Guardian. I have it noted at the bottom of my computer, perfectly enough. The Air Guardian is right here. A much smaller metallic Wyvern with, um, with a metallic face. It actually has the same face as the Warchief from the Genesis mod way back in the day. But I assume that's just like public domain now. But either way, it's still cool to see it with a metallic body. It's actually not the strongest creature, funny enough. I had him fighting one of these guys before, and they were whooping his ass, like brutally beating him. It was gnarly. See, this guy, level 180, 7,600 health. See, he's actually something you could get in your world that won't destroy it through overpowered means. He may look terrifying, but it's just because his face is on fire. He's actually a really nice guy. The Air Guardian, oh, you're about the same. Not much crazier, are you, buddy? This is a damn cool beast, though. I do like that metallic face. Does shoot fire. As you can see, the little the mask does not move or open as he shoots fires. I assume that's more of an armored face then, because armored faces would do that for the most part. 
Yes, these guys do exactly what you thought. I can see that freaking zipline line up there. Shoots lightning, shoots poison, shoots fire. It's just, there's no mysteries here. It's it's what you see is what you get. Now these guys are all gonna fly off into the sky, am I right? I'll just let you fellas deal with this thing while I go ziplining. See how so they're very slow. Extremely slow, which is something you definitely want in the wyverns across your world because they're already so damn powerful. Look at the size of these guys. Their face is on fire. Or his face is on fire. Anything that's face is on fire, you really can't do anything to. That's like the law of face fire. He's already dropped the poison guy. What? He's eating him. I gotta see this, actually. Is the fire guy, if the fire guy kills the poison and electric guy, although I did tame him, making him like a hundred levels stronger. But it still shouldn't make that much of a difference, should it? Ooh, what? No, he, he got cooked. He got roasted. Didn't make that much of a difference. Why I involved myself in this, I do not know. This thing is not that strong compared to these suckers. Son of a bitch! Alright, we have ways of dealing with this. <laughs> I wanna go zipline, man. Get off my nuts. This ought to give me a little peace. There you go, boys. Let the security handle this. This is how I figure every... Everyone should have going in their life anyways. Just an army of giant dragons to do their bidding. That's... That's how you get respect right there. Now just do your thing, boys. You're free to do your thing. So where's my other? I think I think I might still have them set up up here. Like one or two one or two um zip lines that would still be good. I should have kept my army with me. Now if I can't handle business with this thing with a metallic dragon with a weird face, then what kind of man am I? Where the hell did I leave these things? I think up here was my like my last little practice pod building I made. Or was it? Or was it over there? This might have been the greatest distance that I was able to do it before saying screw it because I couldn't have it wrap around the other side of the mountain as well as I wanted. Plus it kept like, yeah, this was the last little fort I put down. It kept like making it so I couldn't put the thing down. It kept having to leave and come back, like restack the mods. But I did have a lot of other stuff in here originally. Are you going to be able to land on there? I did not think through the dragon landing. Come on, damn it! Oh, that was actually beautifully done. Good on you, dragon. Back that ass up perfectly. Huzzah! Easy as it comes. Son of a balls. Alright, you just use red- wait, where is it? See, I don't even see the damn thing. Is there not one? Donde esta? Alright, remove red line. Select for connection. There we go, baby. Alright, let's see where we can place this thing down. But it's like at a certain distance, it just poops out on you. It's heartbreaking. Not now that I'm using a dragon, but before it was heartbreaking. I think our other spot for this one was like right over here, which was the issue. It was way too damn far. Yeah, it was right up here. Which is a no-go. It's not even really downward, it's like equal... Was this, this... No, I think this was like the fourth little place I tried. Is that what happened? Either way, if it could travel that far, the, the things you could do with this would be just limitless. No! Damn it, get up there. Get up there! You can tame dragons and freaking zip line across planets, but you can't climb a mountain. Get your priorities in line. Alright, you put it down. Theoretically, it should have just worked. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Ultimately, if this wasn't my world, I think I'd just build a giant pillar that goes all the way up to, like, the moon. Oh, no! Stupid thing! You've ruined us. You've ruined us, you railing bastard. Get off the thing. There you go. Well, there we go. Yeah, now we're getting some respect around here, damn it. Alright, sweet! Never mind, it did work this time. Going at a very slow rate. I wonder if you're like downward angle, but like the angle at which you go helps your speed. So this is us just free hanging across. Shit, my dragon! Come with me! Come with me! Loser! Can't even zip line. Alright, see, actually, the possibilities for this are just about endless. If you could put it from there to there, then you could gradually put it from, like, there to there, there to there. <coughs> and you could get all over the entire world just from the top of this mountain without ever even involving a beast. Which is damn cool. It's just nice to have, honestly, it's, it's nice to have alternate escape routes, too. Sure, you could always get around on creatures, there's other ways, other mods that you could use. This is the problem. Eventually, you're just ziplining on nothing. It's just, <laughs> this is what happens when it goes too far. Jesus Christ, what a distance. Either way, you can't argue that it's a million times easier than walking your ass all over the place. Where is this stuff on the... On the here? At what... At what... See, only at five. That's... 
That's awesome. Believe it only costs five points. I'm not exactly sure which level you have to be to get it because I am level 100 in this. How am I still going for the love of God? What a distance! Jesus Christ! But, um, it only costs five points. I mean, it's, it's generally going to be down towards the bottom. It's just a simple wooden pillar. It's like a fantastic thing right there. Alright, buddy. Let's see how downward we could make this. And then if that helps it go faster. <sighs> Suzuki! Man, if only we had the power to do this. Well, then the zipline would be utterly useless. So, never mind. That'd be stupid. Alright. So I think just like right down about there. Nah, we should bring it out a little bit. That way it's like, not just Because I'm not even sure if it'll be able to build straight through the mountain. The rope might need extra... Extra volume. What the fuck was that? The boulder just came alive! God, this place freaks me out. I never really get used to it, because I always... I say alternate between so many maps. Alright, the zipline was made! See, this would be a leg breaker right here. This zipline would be terrifying. It's way too steep down. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I'm crazy. No, it went without me! I suppose it is better to send a test dummy. Hey, bring me- Okay, son of a bitch, bring me on one of these. Oh my god. You dirty tease. Now you can't help but bring me. Sometimes it helps to stand in the front of it. Come on. You know you want to. Let me do it. What if it just never lets me do it? You know how heartbreaking that would be? To just sit here forever trying to do it? Ooh! Come on, damn it, stop sending down plastic fake ones. No, it's like stuck right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And there goes that myth right there. It turns out we actually go equally as fast no matter how steep the journey. Either way, though, this is well. See, if you're just going up there to, like, harvest resources and get your ass right back down to base, it's perfect. I mean, sure, there's a million other easier ways to do it, but they don't all involve zip lining. And it's nice to mix up your world anyways, and not just do things generically the same every time you do stuff. Either way, I think we're living life quite fancily. It's not really connected. It's kind of like drifting off a little bit, but either way, it's still pretty, still pretty damn awesome if you can't deny it. Alright, so there is the Wyverns Plus mod and the Zipline mod. One mod adding awesome creatures that holds insane mutatious powers, and the other just an epic way to get around base, dude. This is like... I'm honestly pissed there's only one of me here right now. I wish we had like 30 of these things going just to see 30 people ziplining at once. That would be so great. Or just sneaking into someone's base and planting down a zipline pillar and having no idea that their your whole base is like instantly filling up with enemies because they're all slowly ziplining in one by one. Because you saw when I'd send out a handle that wouldn't go with me, you could send out a handle every like 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds dropping in a new troop in enemy territory, that'd be so freaking epic right there. That's what you gotta do. Alright, so yeah, if you had a good time watching the video, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!